Can you hear the sound? It's great. It's very good. Follow the music. <laughs> Pietro Masai here and welcome to my first English video. It's crazy, it is unbelievable. This is English and I'm speaking in English and now my Italian friends will say come on Pietro, what the heck you are doing? Don't be shy and don't worry, my Italian friend. I will keep on doing also the Italian video too, together with this part in English because other welcome to the family from India, Brazil, Georgia, wherever, US, I don't know US, let's see, UK, Germany, too many people are asking me for videos in English on BIM, on photogrammetry, on all the things that I am talking about. I'm Pietro Massai, welcome to this first English video. Today's problem, today's problem is one of the problems that touch all the professionals in, the, in this field of architecture and construction world all the people that use BIM because we know that BIM is very useful for us it's absolutely something that we cannot live without if we start to use it on the other side there are the other professionals that do not use BIM and we can think that they do not have our benefits and the clients the question now is how to make the client to have benefits from BIM from our beam. Of course, we can tell them that they will not lose money, have wastage on site, spend less time and money because everything, all the site is already created on the computer. So we have solved before all the problems that we will have there on site. But how to approach to a new client and show him directly the benefit of beam? Three, four years back, I bought this stuff here. It is uh, Boer Shankon. I don't know if it still exists on Amazon. At that time, I paid this 20 euros, something like that. Together with my phone, they created the best use of 360 photos together with Beam that you can imagine. Just starting from Alplan, which is the software Beam that I use. One thing that I will say in all my videos, English, Italian videos, BIM is not a software. People use BIM through, thanks to a software, but BIM is a process. Okay, let's go to this 360 visualization from of the BIM project. There are three things we have to take care of creating the scene. Textures, lights and camera. It's like a set, it's like a cinema stage. So you have to take care about these three things that are the things that happens inside the scene, which is mute because you, the architect, the engineer, will talk too much. <laughs> Let's go to see how it's possible to manage these three stuff in our plan. Okay, this is a project that I have done, that I have designed for a client, and they are not very sure about this project but I think uh, I like very much it and I think that the reason is because they do not understand the space at all so how it's possible to do this people normally think about plants plants are real are something that is real and that can represent the reality there's another way I show you so textures we have to take care about that three things and the first one is textures. For example, I have this wall here. I'm just inside the kitchen. And this is the scene that I want to show them. Here I have this wall here, which is red. And I want to turn it in white. Double click on the wall and I change the aspect. I created my plaster, so I have to change all the aspects in plaster. And here it is my white wall. That's fine, so I have my scene, but I have completed the part of the textures. I have to take care about the lights. So I have to go to the visualization and surroundings. The north is rightly positioned in my model. I have to decide month, day and time. July the 1st, 6.30 p.m. That's fine. 
one of them. The sun, I think, will come somehow in this direction. But I have walls outside, so I'm not sure about, but this is the effort I want to have. Set project lights. These are all the lights, the green ones, are the, all the lights that I have. And I have to manage them. I have two lights here, one and two, that are nearby the space that I want to render. Of course, I will do other videos just on the lights in Alplan. Don't worry about it. At the moment, we are talking about 360 renders. So, let's go inside the kitchen. The only thing you have to remember is to turn on the lights. <laughs> and so you will have a more light room. So, material, lights and now camera. If we go here down in the 3D view, there are all the settings of the camera. We know that in Alplan, the vertical is the Y axis. So we have to put in the target point here, not 4.7, but zero. In this way, I will not look down, but I will look exactly on the horizon. Let's close and press render F2. Here it's possible to change the definition. Just take care about the global illumination and the ambient occlusion that has to be optimized for the inside spaces. And here we have the wonderful stuff, the, the, the wonderful instrument. Just flag the spherical and put latitude, longitude and then enjoy. <laughs> Mamma mia, we say in Italian. This is our scene. And here we have uh, color saturation, brightness and contrast. Save as a bitmap on the desktop. Kitchen 2. Say, one software that I suggest you to download that helps to understand if all this stuff we are doing in the great way. It is this one, Rico Teta. And it's absolutely free. We just drag and drop in our 360 photo and we can navigate it perfectly. And now how it's possible to put inside a telephone this information? It's very easy, just go to momento360.com. Here it is, log in, and this is the dashboard. My media, I can upload files here on the right. And so here we have the kitchen too. If I press on it, I can see it on the web. Now the passages are very easy. I just have to go on my phone and search Momento360. Log in here and on the top left just search My Media and I have Kitchen too. On the right side we have these two glasses which means cardboard. So that is this object here. So I press on it, I rotate the telephone and I just put this here inside. And bye bye. Let's see in the other world. Try to put this on the head of your client. They will become crazy. I'm Pietro Massai, I hope this video will help you. If you enjoyed the video, just subscribe, like and switch on the bell. I don't know how to say it in English. <laughs> so welcome to the great family. For today, that's all folk. Bye.